So MPS2, or Hunter syndrome, is the only MPS disorder that's X-linked inherited. All the other MPS disorders are autosomal recessive. And so MPS2 is due to a deficiency in iduronic 2 sulfatase, leading to the accumulation of uh, dermatin sulfate and heparin sulfate. MPS2 Hunter syndrome also has a spectrum of disease where on one end you could have cognitive impairment and the other end normal cognition. However, the burden of disease on the rest of the body is still significant for both groups. It's truly um, uh, impacting cardiac function, pulmonary function, um, the risk of C-spine compression, the risk of carpal tunnel, the risk of recurrent ear infections is the same between both groups essentially. And looking at um, one of the re registries retrospectively, um, recently myself and Dr. Harmatz showed that the disease burden is still quite great in both groups even though one is quote called the, the more severe form and the other one is the attenuated, but that only refers to cognitive ability. And it really, we really need to start changing the terms to neuronopathic and non-neuronopathic. Um, and that's important because if we call one severe and the other more mild, that might um, inform the community and the doctors that maybe enzyme replacement therapy is not needed in the quote attenuated form and in fact it's needed in both. The earlier we can intervene with intravenous enzyme replacement therapy, in this case would be Eloprase, um, we can start to slow the progression of the disease. Both the attenuated quote, the attenuated form and the severe form will go on to have cardiac valve dysfunction requiring aortic valve or mitral valve replacement. They will go on to have um, C-spine compression requiring decompressive surgery. So both, um, both groups within Hunter are severely impacted by this enzyme deficiency.